Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Friday, the 26th of March. All right, a pretty sedate sort of day, but uh, and it's, I like to see these sort of days in the middle as a trend starts to develop. It means it's not like a, you know, I hate to see knee jerk reactions, right? Because they always come back. This is a slow, steady move in the dollar, and uh, it's got the uh, hallmark signs of a continued move, even though there are quite a few geopolitical issues circumnavigating the market. So right now, it's just equity markets, well, pretty uh, pretty neutral, which is good to see as well. Okay, takes the pressure off uh, the market somewhat. If you're looking at the um, the VIX, right, the volatility index back down a bit, tells me that the market's pretty happy with what's going on. The, the treasury market has sort of settled down. Okay, this is a, a real good thing because now we've got that underlying core dollar strength um, the equity markets have now, now sort of stabilized, so there's no panic around the, around the place. And we should start to see the currencies, you know, trend. And what that means is when you come back to look at the markets, they, a lot of people get, have got the understanding that these things just drop like lead balloons. They, they move down, right? Then they come back, test resistance, and they go again. That's, if there's no change in the fundamentals, this is what you get. So this is good. The market's consolidating at the moment. I would expect most to sort of come back, test the trend lines and go down. Now, what we're seeing across the board as we come into Friday's trading at the end of the New York session in particular, profit taking, right? There's so many things coming out over the weekends. I would expect some of these pairs to come back, give back some of their um, or their losses, okay? Gains for the US dollar. So you'd expect the dollar sitting up here, probably drift down a touch and ready for another kickstart to, to next week. Right, so that's exactly where we are. The dollar is trending up at this very point in time. There's also, uh, you can sort of see the odd one out here too. I've been saying it for ages, sterling. It's got that uh, you know positive vibe from the vaccines. There's also a few issues with Europe talking about uh, or EU limiting the vaccines or exports to, to the UK. Get a lot of love a bit of uh, argy bargy between all the, uh, the nations. And if that's got anything to go by, I'd like to see what Biden's doing here. He's, he's comparing Zhu to, to Putin. Okay, so this Chinese um, US relationship and, and the US and Biden's doing a better job than Trump in the sense that he's bringing all the rest of the West in, into the argument, right? You know, with bans and, and, and then slamming them for uh, human abuse and all this stuff. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this Chinese situation plays out. This is not a storm and a teacup. This is going to start building. Um, and the general sort of, you know, the general run through here, commentary, dollar climbs past four month highs, risk appetite wanes. Well, it's not waning. It's just having a breather, right? Traders at all the banks, that they're so busy and hectic when markets are moving. By the end of the week, they just want markets to calm down. Everyone takes a breather and the markets just uh, chill out. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. And it's actually a really good thing to see. Now, I can't see outside of anything else, the trend stopping at this point. Now, we've got a really good situation today with these IFO business numbers. Okay, I know Euro's on its, not necessarily on its knees, but it is getting uh, beaten up. And then you've got UK retail sales figures here as well. So keep an eye on that through the uh, European session in particular. Got some personal income and consumption numbers out of the States, University of Michigan sentiment numbers there as well. So keep an eye on, uh, you got a few numbers to look at. It'd be two, twofold, right? These numbers could give us <clears throat> some sort of level of direction on the euro. That'd be great if that impacts. So we're looking for some a trading opportunity, but we're also just watching to see if the fundamentals are actually impacting the market. If they are, we're getting back to really like gorgeous market conditions, right? So most of these pairs, now focus on the pairs where you do have an advantage. Right, so to me, the Kiwi and the Kiwi government um, issue of these new taxes on properties, the Kiwi is going to be a sell on rallies, as is the Aussie. Uh, sterling, well, it's going to follow the dollar. There is, is a bit of a, a weirder sterling vibe. We've got resistance up here still above the market, but uh, Euro to me is, is one of those ones that is ripe for the picking. Um, it has already obviously gone a hell of a long way, but... Um, it's still there looking for opportunities and, and don't discount a bounce back up towards resistance just on some random news. There's going to be a lot of selling up there. Now, the dollar index, well, we sort of need it. You need a bit more of a dip to get into it. So we're probably not going to get that. Same with dollar Swiss. 
Uh, it's good to see Dolly N showing a sign of life, a bit of dollar strength. And also, well, actually oil is still falling here too, which supports a higher dollar CAD. And you can see, just be careful with dollar CAD though. You get these knee jerk moves through um, these trend lines and they can sort of flush you out. So just be aware of that. There's no major dollar CAD or Canadian news out. So we've got, we've got a really good structure of news or releases coming out today. As I said, we've got, um, I'm not really looking at the Tokyo CPI, the German, oh, yeah, the German IFO numbers. Then you've got UK retail sales and a bunch of US numbers there as well. So just have a look, see what happens. The general vibe is up. The treasuries, they have stabilized. If anything, they've come back a little bit from the dip they had the day before. Equity markets are nice and neutral. So there's no panic there. So we're looking for um, the dollar to keep going up and the equities come off. So as I said, Fridays, just be wary of, of um, profit taking. Uh, outside of that, we've, we've got really nice market conditions. And if anything, if you've missed these moves this week, right, well then we're gonna have better moves going forward. Right? We're getting back to normal market conditions. And what that means is generally speaking, right, let me just come back to the charts. Like each week in normal market conditions, we generally, have you get one good opportunity each week, maybe on a couple of pairs, and that's enough to, to fill your account, right? So don't go chasing every possible move that you can get. Focus on the pairs that have good technical setups, clear direction, and all you have to do is wait for the market to hit your levels, and we're back in the game. All right, guys, have a good uh, trade day, good weekend if I don't speak to you, uh, which is probably highly unlikely. All right, guys, have a good one, and all the very best. Cheerio.